Good morning and welcome to a new video. Um, it's been a while since I did a DIY video and um, yeah, I don't know. I really miss it. I have a few projects going at the moment, but I'm not really sure which ones to put on video because when I put them on video, I really like them to go from start to finish. So... <clears throat> I have been trying out to knit a little bit more, but uh, that's going to take a while before I uh, <laughs> document it on the channel, I think. Um, I have a pattern for a blouse and I have some fabric that I really, really like. So I figured we we're going to try and put those together. Come along. pattern that I want to make or the blouse I want to make um, I also brought out a dolly so that I have a chance to oh facing the other way Ugh. no I brought out dolly so I have a chance to uh, try try the blouse on see especially that it fits around the bust um, and then this is the fabric it's kind of like a silky texture um, it's a viscose uh, fabric, so um, I think it's gonna work really nice with this uh, this pattern. Okay, so this is the back piece, and this is the front piece, and then they're gonna go pieces on like the sides, I don't know if that makes sense. Um, and this is the inside of the collar. So um, these three pieces are the ones I only have to cut one piece of. So I'm gonna cut those first and then I'm gonna uh, fold the fabric and uh, cut the rest of the pieces. Uh, the ones that need two or more pieces, um, I'll fold them. This one actually needs four pieces, it's like the ruffle. Um, it's this part, like the ruffles on the side here. So this needs four pieces, but the rest of them needs uh, two. So. by far the most annoying assistant I've ever had. You have anything to say for your defense? Hmm? So the three pieces are done. I'm now moving on to all of the ones who needs to be folded. Uh, realizing that I should have probably also just folded these in the middle and cut them, but whatever. They're done. <laughs> The neckline on the front piece uh, I just pressed it down and then I did a um, overlock stitch and then a top stitch that was the first part apparently um, 
secondly, I've taken the back piece and I've cut it um, in the middle. Uh, also done that for the back piece, uh, the bigger back piece. Uh, so this is going to form like a nice lining on the inside. Um, and the way I knew how far to cut it is because there is a marking on this uh, piece. So now we're going to sew this one like this. And then we're moving on to the next. Okay, update. I think I might have made a mistake, but I guess we'll find out later. <laughs> um, so far, I've uh, sewn the yeah the front middle and the back middle together um, so the lining is now done on the inside it looks really nice um, they are suggesting like with the fabric that you make a little loop to be able to um, to be able to close these two together but I think I'm gonna find some nice ribbon instead and then just sew a little piece so that you can make a little bow um, First of all, I don't have the energy to do a button, and second of all, uh, I think that will look nicer, actually. Um, next step is the side pieces. So, um, this is the front, and this is the back, and I'm gonna sew them together, and I'm gonna do that on the other uh, part as well. Um, and then I actually really don't know... Uh, let me see... that's where we are. And then I'm also going to start on the ruffle pieces. Okay, so I'm in the middle of doing some steps and I'm gonna explain them uh, quite shortly. We are closing in to the end, even though it might, <laughs> it might not look that way. Um, but I just wanted to show you real quick what a um, wrinkle uh, or like a ruffle uh, stitch is. Um, I've done it already on this one. You don't, woo, you don't, um, or you do not, um, make like a stop uh, it's completely yeah open you just start sewing and then you sew like with the longest I have the longest stitch length here so like the longest one um, width is not relevant because it's a straight stitch so I have the longest like it cannot get any um, any longer um, and then you just sew a straight stitch all the way down uh, I still have uh, the other one to go but when I'm done I'm just gonna then and then you can pull on the one of the threads um, like pull gently and it will ruffle up nicely so I'll I don't know if this makes sense I'll show you in a minute okay so both in the beginning and the end very important that you just sew till the end and then no uh, attaching <laughs> um, you just uh, yeah, gently pull out the thread and cut it. Make sure to leave a little in both ends so that you have something to pull on when we're doing the ruffle. Okay, so I have both uh, both of my pieces and they both have this long ruffle stitch at the at the sides here. This is um, this side is going to be visible. Um, so this is going to go on the inside of the seams on the front uh, of the blouse and when you do a ruffle if you pull both of the threads it's going to lock so what you want to do is just pull um, one of them and you'll kind of quickly feel which one it is okay so it's this one because the other one will not move it will also lock it so you just gently uh, pull like this and like yeah um, move the fabric like inwards 
Um, just make sure to do it gently because if the thread breaks it's not that good. Um, if you're working with a fabric that's a bit thicker um, this might not be the right method to use but if you use it uh, I actually sometimes sew two or three of these like right next to each other so all the way down and that way I have three or two threads to pull um, and that gives it a bit more uh, strength to like yeah last <laughs> but uh, but yeah this is gonna take a little while so I'll get back to you once that is done I think I'm actually also going to attach these uh, they they're going on the front piece um, on the front piece of the blouse uh, and once these have been sewn on, I'm going to sew on the side pieces. So, I will, uh, I will get this done and then I'll show you the result. Okay, so I quickly, I quickly just wanted to show you like when you attach the ruffle. Um, so this is right side, wrong side. Um, the ruffle is going in between uh, the two right sides, obviously, the front piece and then the side piece is going to go here. So that when the ruffle is showing, it will look um, something like that. Um, it can be a bit tricky uh, and messy to sew it on. <laughs> I definitely regret not overlocking uh, the ruffle, but uh, it is what it is. Um, but when you sew it on, make sure that the that the straight piece is just laying flat and nice put the ruffle on it it's gonna be messy and a little bit lumpy to sew um, but you can uh, use the um, ruffle stitch as your guide and just make sure that the other fabric uh, yeah that the seam allowance that you have calculated is um, is showing so um, so I'm gonna sew the last piece here um, but on the stuff that I already sewn you can see that it's nice and um, ruffled yeah okay so I figured this would be <laughs> the best way to show like the steps that are left um, so I've put in the ruffle here on the front piece and I'm gonna attach um, the side pieces now to the front and back piece uh, here you see the V that we did earlier and this is where I'm gonna attach the ribbon so that you can close it um, this is so that you obviously can get your head <laughs> through the neckline um, and once we are done sewing this side and this side uh, we're gonna sew the sleeves and sew them on so next step is showing you the finished result I really hope at least <laughs> that it will be <laughs> Okay, here is the finished result. I'm uh, quite happy to be honest. I uh, sewed in some, um, yeah, sleeve material. I don't know what you call this in uh, Swedish. You call it uh, mud. <laughs> but um, but I, I sewed these on because I wanted a really clean finish on the sleeves. Um, and then I actually also added an extra border here. That's the nice thing about sewing yourself. Um, I both think that it finished off the ruffles quite nicely, uh, but it also just added that five, eight centimeters of extra length, which is uh, nice to have. Um, and uh, yeah, it fits on the doll, so it should fit me. Oh, final thing, just before I put it on, um, this is how the whoop, this is how the closing turned out. I sewed in, like I said, a ribbon instead of. A of a button and I'm uh, really happy with that so and this is the back side all right I'm gonna go uh, put this on see if it fits okay so I just finished getting ready and I figured that um, I would show you uh, the end result also on so um, I really like the way uh, I really like the way the pattern turned out I realized also halfway through <laughs> that I actually kept sewing with the uh, ruffle stitch, so like really long stitches. Um, and because I have a little bit of an OCD, I finished the shirt that way. It's not going to show too much, um, but I do think that um, if I would have sewn it with a normal stitch, obviously that would have been better. Um, 
like I said also when I showed it on the doll um, the pattern don't really have uh, the pattern don't really have that uh, below border um, but um, the pattern don't really have that below border but I do think that it will look nice you know when I tuck it into the shirt I tuck it like like this I really like to, to tuck it in um, and then also on the back side it just it's a little bit longer so it's kind of like covering what I think it should cover um, yeah this was the this was the pattern if anybody's interested and um, I uh, think that me and Johannes are ready to go and uh, do a uh, play date now are you ready boo boo are you ready to go huh yeah, no, but I'm, I'm really happy with the result. Um, only other thing I also regret is that I didn't overlock all the pieces. I simply didn't have the patience to do that. Um, sewing for myself, that's fine. I know this won't rip or anything, um, but it will probably thread a little under. So if I would have made this for someone else, obviously I would have uh, overlocked the whole piece. And um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this DIY. I know I did. And... Um, See you in the next video.